Yo, what is up, guys? You're watching Epic Pokemon TCG, and today's video, what I got for you guys is a card that I've actually been eyeballing pretty much for a good while now. My friends can vouch for me the fact that I have been pretty much obsessed with making a deck featuring Arcanine. So if you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Also want to note real quick here, guys, this list was actually uploaded by somebody from, I think, NRG. They posted it online. And this was actually one of the deck ideas that I was kind of like twirling around in my head because we made a similar version uh, that feature Naga, Naga Thinging and Dale, whatever, Poiple's Evolution and uh, Turtonator together. And so this was actually one of the decks I was thinking about since, you know, Arcanine, of course, its first attack allows you to attach energy straight from your discard pile. So they actually uploaded this list, and I figured this one actually would probably be significantly better than one I would upload. So, you know, here you go. But anyway, Arcanine is one of the new cards featured out of Unbroken Bonds. Now, for some odd reason... I don't know why. This card is just really hard to get. My friends and just everyone around my league has been buying packs out the Yin Yang, and none of them can pull Arcanine. No one's pulled Arcanine. I don't know what it is. I'm going to have to buy them online. But Arcanine is actually a pretty sweet card, and it is not the best card, but is actually playable due to the new fire support that came out. Its first attack takes three fire energy, which is essentially just a welder and a, you know a single attachment for turn. And then it does 120, and you can attach two fire energy cards from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. And then it has heat tackle for 190, and you do 50 damage to yourself, but still, nonetheless, you're doing 190 damage. And on top of that, guys, you have stuff in here like Shrine of Punishment, and every, you know, just to increase the damage output. And you know, you have Turtonator sitting in the back, which can do a considerable amount of damage. And the cool thing about this deck is that it only gives up one prize for each of its attackers, which is really nice. I'm playing this Growlithe. I don't really need to go too much. It just evolves into Arcanine. Uh, but the next card we're going to be taking a look at is Turtonator. I believe this came out in Dragon's Majesty. It is also in the theme deck that you can get uh, for, you know, the features Mewtwo from in Broken Bonds. Uh, but it has Explosive Jet for 50 times, and you discard any number of Fire Energy attached to your Pokemon, and it does 50 damage for each energy discarded. It doesn't have to be on Turtonator. It could be Pokemon on the bench. That means you can actually throw energy on your bench. You know, to maybe another Arcanine, to another Turtonator, to a Growlithe, or whatever. And you can use them for this attack later on in the game, which is really nice. And so these Pokemon actually have pretty good synergy together. And like I said, we are playing three Shrine of Punishment in here as well. Did, you know, just kind of help with the damage output. Now, I figured instead of actually uh, explaining how you play this deck and kind of the strategy around it, I would just go ahead and show you guys a quick clip of me using the deck. So here you go. Alrighty, now hopefully that was semi-informative and helped you guys out, you know, kind of giving you an understanding of how you want to play this deck exactly. Something outside just drove by, and God, it was loud. Anyway, so this deck pretty much just kind of runs the typical fire stuff in it. You have your welder, of course, your supporter that is going to allow you to attach extra energy, and will allow you to set up your Arcanine off of one turn, and then you get to draw three cards. So you get to attach two fire energy, then you have your attachment for turn. So that's three energy. You're immediately doing 120, and then you can just draw some cards, which is really nice. Uh, we also have Fiery Flint. Fiery Flint is actually a great card in this deck as well because it requires you to discard cards from your hand to play it. So essentially what you can do is you can discard Fire Energy and then search for Fire Energy, which is really nice. And it just kind of helps fuel Arcanine's first attack. Uh, that is the same thing with Ultra Ball. You can discard cards from your hand and then of course you get to search for a Pokemon. And uh, on top of that, Heat Factory is a great card for this as well. You get to discard something. It could be a Fire Energy, attach it with Arcanine, and then you get to draw three cards pretty Pretty good there. Another card in here is going to be Fire Crystal. Fire Crystal essentially can turn into 150 damage when you think about it. You think about Turtonator. Uh, but you're discarding stuff with Turtonator. You're discarding energy in general with this deck. So getting them back uh, for welder purposes or Heat Factory. Just whatever the situation might call for is really nice. And then, of course, we do have uh, Wishful Baton. Wishful Baton 
is an insane card for fire pokemon it's so good essentially when you really think about what this card does what it you know causes your deck to do is you don't have to play your welder down for the turn if you have a pokemon with wishful baton on it and it gets knocked out you get to move your three fire energy uh, which normally most fire decks are going to have three fire energy. We have like Bacephalon, Charizard, etc. Uh, you get to move those energies onto another Pokemon. So that means you don't have to spend your turn uh, necessarily at, you know, playing the Welder down. Uh, you can actually play something like Greens or Guzma or whatever your deck might have. Which is why Wishful Baton is actually a fantastic card for fire Pokemon right now. It just basically doesn't mean you have to use your supporter up for the turn. Also, you can keep your energy on the board, which is really nice because, you know, it just helps out with Turtonator. Uh, but we also run Green's Exploration. Now, this card is fantastic if you don't run abilities, uh, which is pretty common right now. But if you run abilities, unfortunately, you might not be able to capitalize too much on this card, uh, depending on what the ability is. But Green's Exploration pretty much just allows you to search your deck for up to two trainer cards, build them, and put them in your hand. Now, the beautiful thing, the amazing thing, the awesome thing about the supporter is it says trainer. It doesn't specify that it has to be an item. It doesn't specify it has to be a supporter. It doesn't specify it has to be a stadium. It just says trainer. So there you go. You can grab supporter. Stadium or item cards, fantastic card. You can grab a supporter for the next turn along with an item card. And you can, there's just a lot of things you can do with this card. It's really nice. Uh, speaking of great things, we have Pokey Gear in here. You look at the top seven cards of your deck and you may choose a supporter card you find there and put it in your hand. This can honestly bail you out of some situations. Yes, sometimes you won't necessarily always hit the supporter you're exactly wanting. But nonetheless, it's a great card, especially with the fire engine. You can grab greens, which can turn into fiery flint, other crazy nonsense. Or it can turn into a welder, which is really good. Uh, speaking of supporters, we do have a couple Guzma in here as well. Uh, this deck can actually fall short a number sometimes. Or, you know, maybe you have something on the bench that's just getting eaten up by Shrine of Punishment. You can just bring that up with Guzma. Take that baby right out the game. Also, when you think about this deck on paper, you have a Pokemon that is attaching a bunch of energy to stuff on your bench. And then you have Turtonator, which basically just says you can discard cards off of your field fire energy specifically to knock out stuff. So it just kind of makes sense, right? Plus, who wants to pay a four retreat cost? I know I don't. Uh, what can we take a look at? So where I looked at Shrine of Punishment, that's just going to kind of help, you know, weaken some Pokemon. And then, of course, we have Rescue Stretcher. I don't really need to go too much into detail on what Rescue Stretcher is going to be bringing to the table. Uh, but, you know, pun intended because you're playing Pokemon cards. Anyway, uh, just get some Pokemon back. Pretty good there. And, of course, we have Nest Ball. This just allows you to grab your Turtonators and your Growlithe. You know, just get them on the field, which is really good. And it's searchable by green, so that's really nice. And I think, honestly, that's everything besides the one Cynthia. Cynthia is just a really good draw card. You just, you know, get the refresh your hand and draw six. And then we're going to round out the deck with 12 fire energy. So, yes, you guys already saw how to play the deck. It's actually a lot of fun. Arcanine's a card that I've really enjoyed pretty much ever since I first saw it. Because I was like, this card, if it came out and it didn't have the fire stuff, it would actually be pretty terrible. Uh, because, you know, we're losing DCE. There's no colorless, you know, costs on the card, none of that. But since we have things like Welder, we have things like Fire, you know, Fiery Flint and such, you know, it just becomes very playable, you know. You're able to get those Fire Energies to your hand, you're able to play them down, you know, and it only takes 3 energy to do 120. Now, while 120 necessarily isn't the best, it's still able to soften up those big Tag Team GX Pokemon, and then Turtonator is able to come in later on and just kind of finish them up, which is really, really nice. So, yeah. Props to the guy that uploaded this list. It's actually extremely consistent. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, you know, you get your stuff out. You know, there's not really any, like, craziness to this deck. It's a pretty straightforward list, and it's a very straightforward deck in general. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I hope this video was informative to you and hope it helped you out. Uh, try the deck out, guys. It's a blast. Take care, guys. I love you. And as always, this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out. Please, guys, we are close to 800 subscribers. I would love to hit that very soon. So if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. You are awesome. You are beautiful. Take care.